Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial 98. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a fading effect to a satellite time lapse or more in general that uh, any GF animation. If you want to add a fading effect, uh, you can just use one line of code uh, with GMAP. First, let me show you what uh, the output looks like. So, this is a uh, lens set satellite time lapse, right? So, you can see uh, we have uh, every, for example, every quarter we have one imagery and it's actually when uh, changing from one uh, time frame to the next one you will see the fading effect like gradually uh, you can see it's increasing or the river is expanding right so this is something we can do using gmap just uh, one line of code so i'm going to show you how to do that uh, first let's go to the website to download the normal example so uh, gmap.org and then tutorials and scroll down to the end find number 98 and then click the link so from there you should be able to click the, the download button to download this one to your computer and then you can open anaconda and uh, open the notebook so as you can see here we have two sections so the first one i'm going to show you how to add a fading effect to an existing uh, gf and i must the second one i'm going to show you how you can create a satellite time lapse from uh, scratch and also add the fading effect Okay, so first let's import the libraries and then in here we're just going to use this uh, existing uh, GIF animation but you can use whatever you have on your computer. So if you want to take a look at what it looks like, you can uh, just execute and then use uh, gmap.show image. Uh, you will be able to show that one from uh, the URL so you can see uh, this is what it looks like originally. So this one does not have a fading effect. You can see it's uh, very abrupt when you change from one frame to the next one so there's no fading effect here right it's just expanding but um, no gradual changes so what we're going to do here is to actually use the g fading function and so you can provide input and provide the output that's it so take a look and once you add that uh, you can also show the image keep in mind uh, behind the scene uh, it essentially download the imagery and then use a FFmpeg to actually uh, put them together and also add a fading effect. So this will be what it looks like by default. Uh, you might not notice there's too much difference, but you need to pay attention closely when it's changing from one to the next one. So you can see the graduate changes from one to the next. If you want, you can also change the duration. By default, it's just one second. So let me show you here. Shift tap and the default parameter for duration is one so it is one second so if you want to make it longer basically the changes to make it longer you can change the larger number so for example uh, duration equal to two and let's take a look uh, it's going to increase the file size a little bit because uh, it's getting all longer so you can see on the left side here it's running so this might take a little bit longer it depends on the longer the duration um, the, the longer you need to wait okay it's done and shift enter so take a look this one should be a lot slower right so now you can clearly see when it is changing from one frame to the next one you will see the fading effect that uh, fading out and fading in right so just like powerpoint slides or whatever uh, video that uh, you see that you have this kind of effect and this is how you can use them um, you can add the fading effect to pretty much any gf animation so talk gf as long as you have one you can use this function to process it does not have to be a satellite time lapse it can be any general uh, image okay so the next one i'm going to show you is actually you can create one from scratch so if you like you can use um a g map so by default uh, it's going to show the map and you can simply draw a rectangle on the map or draw an ROI. Uh, it's up to you but uh, if you don't it's going to use this default one so i can show you for example if you don't like this one you can pan and zoom the map to any location you like and then I can simply just do a rectangle, for example, or polygon somewhere here. And th that's it. So then you can use this one as the ROI. So what you need uh, is make a new one here. You'll be the ROI equal to map.user ROI. So the user ROI is whatever you draw on the map. And it's going to be used as the ROI. And then uh, here you can set the title, basically the text you want to show on the time lapse and also the output where you want to output so this is the function we're going to create the time lapse and let me show you 
maybe let's execute this one first right so you have the ri where you want to create uh where you want to output and you can specify the start year and also the end year and this one only utilize 16 years but you can uh, 17 years but you can change to 2022 right uh up to 2022 and then the frames per second uh, one second and whatever the title and by default the fading effect equal to false because it might take a little bit longer so uh, if you don't need that uh, you can just use the default one and so take a look so this is what it's going to look like so every year so this is in uh, uh, South America right so you can see the so-called uh, copper mining and you can see it's expanding from the uh, early 2000 all the way to um, 2010 so just uh, uh, 2004 so up to 2010 so you roughly have uh, seven years in this uh, satellite time lapse and again there's no fading effect so if you want uh you can uh, since we already download this uh output gf you can use the earlier function like just add uh, gif animation directly so it looks like this you can use this function but you can also directly use the satellite time lapse function to add the fading effect and so the next one i'm going to show you here is the one with the fading effect Right. and you should also be able to set the duration like how uh how long you want the fading to last right again as i mentioned earlier the default value is just one second so you can change to a large number if you want and once you're done then you can just show the image right so take a look now you see this one is a little bit fading in and fading out uh looks a little bit better than this one but if you want it to be slower you can change the duration to a longer value so uh, shift tap right and scroll down all the way all the way to the to the end let me see here in and out where's the the fading here yeah fading so you just change this one uh to fading to two but if you want a longer duration you can use the uh gif animation uh gif fading that i mentioned at the beginning you can use this function to change the duration if you want Okay, so that's pretty much about this uh, tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.